Hi, I'm Lee Jin Ma from the Epidemic Medicine Lab, headed by Dr. Tom Karajanis at the Baker IDI Heart and Diabetes Institute. I'm currently undertaking my PhD, which has a strong focus on the effects of radiation on gamma H2AX, which is a molecular marker of double-stranded breaks. Today, I'll be demonstrating an experiment on the quantitation of gamma H2AX foci in response to gamma radiation in human cretinocytes. This immunostaining protocol can be used to monitor both initial DNA damage as well as DNA repair. This method is also useful for evaluating the efficacy of potential radiation modifying compounds. For instance, radiosensitizers, which are expected to increase DNA damage, would result in higher numbers of gamma H2AX foci, while radioprotectors would have the opposite effect with lower numbers of foci detected due to a reduction in DNA double stranded breaks. Now let's start the experiment. The cells used in this experiment are human keratinocytes, which are prepared in chamber slides with 10,000 cells seated in each well. Slides are incubated at 37 degrees in 5% carbon dioxide for 3 days prior to irradiation. Slides are transported to the irradiator on ice, then irradiated at 2 gray while control slides are left unirradiated. After irradiation, slides are returned to the incubator for 1 hour. This incubation period allows us to look at initial DNA damage. Next comes the staining. Media is first to build the wells carefully before the addition of 300 microliters of calcium chloride and magnesium.